In week 14, we covered animate. Uh, this was just the previous tutorial on shapes, objects, object drawing mode. I'm going to create a new scene. So over here, I've got my scene palette. I'm going to hit new for scene. I'll call this first one setting up. Now I'm going to add a new scene right here with the page icon. This one I'm going to call, well, we'll see what happens when I get there. With this, I'm going to show you the toolbar menu and properties. Now you see how the properties changed for the text tool, whereas if I've got the oval tool, I've got a whole new set of options. Now watch down here, you'll see as I've got this brush tool selected and I choose this one, I've now got even more tools selected based on the brush and the properties change as well. So based upon what you select, the properties change and the number of tool options will be changing. So that's tools and options. Now, I showed this after class during lab time. So if you weren't around, you missed it, I'm going to go over it real quick. If I've got this circle, it's just there and it's an object because I've got object drawing mode on. If I go window, motion presets, so I'm going to open that back up. And my motion presets are right down here. That's just where they popped up for me, but for you they might be somewhere different. You can get some auto animations in here. So if I did swoosh and then I click apply, I'll hit OK. Now you see keyframes have already set up, so if I hit play, you see it swoosh in and fade out. So that is your tools, properties, and then adding motion presets to items for this part of the tutorial.